33-year-old man presents after falling from a roof. He has a closed tibial fracture. He's alert and oriented. Three hours later, he becomes restless and complains of increasing pain in his leg. Exam reveals tense anterior leg compartment. Pain increases significantly when the toes are passively extended. Which of the following is the most specific sign? Doctors, now let's be careful. Which of the following is the most specific sign of acute compartment syndrome? Which of the following is the most specific sign of acute compartment syndrome? Which of the following is the most specific sign of acute compartment syndrome? A, pulse less foot. B, pain with passive muscle stretch. C, diminished sensation. D, pallor of the foot. And E, edema of the leg. What's the correct answer? I can see a lot of doctors are going with B, Dr. Sekina, Dr. Sabine, Dr. Sekina, Dr. Farah, Dr. Cosmos. Everyone is going for B. It looks like we talked about it. So pain with passive muscle stretch. So pain on passive stretch is highly specific for acute coronary syndrome. Uh, no, sorry, acute compartment syndrome. And it often appears early. Okay, it directly assesses the affected compartment muscle irritation. So pain on passive stretch is highly specific. What, by the way, what is the first sign of compartment syndrome out of all the five Ps? I want you to type it in the comment section right now. What's the first sign of acute compartment syndrome out of the five Ps? Out of the five Ps, what's the first sign of acute compartment syndrome? Please type it. And then after that, you will realize that what is the most specific or what is the most highly specific sign of acute compartment syndrome that becomes pain on passive stretch. So today, I want to just make sure that you remember that compartment syndrome is not only about fractures. There are other things which can lead to compartment syndrome. So pain out of proportion and unresponsive to analgesia is the most sensitive an early sign of acute compartment syndrome. So if you're looking at the various clinical features of acute compartment syndrome, I know we talk about the five Ps. The first symptom you need to pay attention to is pain. So that's very critical. 